What's going on guys? Tony Hannity's here with Lazy Tech TV and this is a moose. We'll get to this in just a little bit, but before that, I want to talk to you guys about a really cool toy slash DIY kit that might be perfect for your up and coming teenager that's kind of looking into not necessarily coding, but building. Kids these days can't really take apart, you know, refrigerators and microwaves and and televisions like we used to. I mean, they can, but with all the electronics in there being so, well, the way that they are, it makes it a little bit more difficult to put back together, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Henceforth, a company came out with a really cool invention to introduce kids to the world of drones. Now, we all know drones, and this is the Circuit Scribe drone. Now what makes this guy really interesting is that except for the actual motors and the battery itself, everything is pretty much you put together yourself. And it says ages 13 and up. Well, incidentally, I do have a 14 year old, so of course I'm gonna have him do it. But this could actually be put together by anybody that can color within the lines. And the only reason why I would argue that it's 13 and up is because of the eye-hand coordination that you would need to do in order to perform your dronage activity. In the box, you're gonna get drone arms. You're also gonna get pre-cut drone arms. You're gonna get the motors and of course, the battery and its battery charger. Once you follow the instructions and you color in the drone arms, which incidentally, the coloring in part is the most important aspect of building this drone. The ink is conductive ink, so it actually conducts the electricity coming from the battery going towards the motors. If you don't color in fully, you're not going to get the amount of power that you need. Henceforth, if you somehow rip, tear, or bend those drone arms, the electricity won't be conducted from the motor to the battery, or rather vice versa. You, you know, they won't talk to each other. Which is why it's really nice that the company's included extra drone arms when that happens, because it, it happened to us a couple of times. We'll, we'll get to that too. Nevertheless, once that is finished, then you just put it together and it's like building Lincoln logs. It's very simple. You put the motor in the middle, the drone arms together, the motors on the outside, Bob's your uncle, and poof, you have yourself a drone. Now it ain't no DJI Spark, it's no, you know, Parrot, whatever Parrot does, Bebop. They still doing those but it works it, like this is a full-on drone and not to mention this also has a camera you can actually take shots from this guy and record not only video but also photos it's not super high def i mean this is a hundred dollar diy drone kit i mean you can't really expect the best of the best but for what it is it does the job now the battery you have to remove it from the hub and thusly you charge the battery in the battery charger but uh, aside from that the hardest thing about all of this wasn't the building the building aspect is pretty easy and what's really cool is if you know what you're doing you can build anything you want you could do a prop plane uh, you could if you know how you could build some sort of robot that also had these propellers involved in it I mean circuit scribe has a bunch of different kits that they sell to schools and individuals the drone is like one of their first like complete kits that you can take home but if your mind can think it you can create it right someone said that someone someone important said that right okay cool great now with the flying aspect that's that's where that just that just takes practice I mean I mean look at this amazing drone footage just just awesome just it's pretty terrible. I wouldn't recommend flying this outdoors. And like I said, the amount of crashes that we had when we shot that initially forced us to use, well, all, all of the drone arms. So you can buy replacement drone arms. You can buy replacement conductive ink. I mean, all the things can be bought individually, which is really nice, again, thanks to uh, Circuit Scribe. But I think as a starting off point, as a jumping off point, as a gift for somebody during this holiday season who wants a drone and also wants to build things this is the perfect product for them now aside from building the drone and flying the drone which one went very well and the other one did not go so well but that's all about learning and stuff like that 
The other issue that we had that I feel compelled to be honest with you was the actual application itself. They have both an iOS and Android app, which is very nice. And at first glance, the app looks to be very simple. You've got your throttle, you've got your lift, you've got your trim control, you've got everything that you would expect from your standard drone controller. I don't know if it actually supports using an external controller or not, but the other nice thing it does support like using your accelerometer, which is what I would do because I suck at drone controls. But that's not the half of it. The, the, the bigger issue was that I couldn't get it connected to my phone. Now, it's not Bluetooth. It uses like a Wi-Fi ad hoc connection between the drone itself and your phone. And my phone is Google Pixel 3 XL and it wouldn't talk to each other. But my older HTC 10, no problem. And my newer but also old OnePlus 2, also no problem. Uh, these are phones that are on older versions of Android, so maybe that has something to do with it. I, I, I don't, I don't know. But um, I just, we just kept on trying, just trying it. I, again, we tried on the Pixel, it wouldn't work, but we tried on other devices, so that's how we kept on trying, and it finally worked out itself. And there's some troubleshooting things that you can check out on their website as well. So, you know, as I say, just. If it doesn't work the first time, just try, try, try again. Anyway, that's it for this guy right here. But if you have any other DIY kit slash learning, building, engineering kind of stuff that you think that we would love to take a look at, leave those in the comment section down below, as well as any questions or comments that you might have about the Circuit Scribe drone. Links, as always, can be found in the description below, including the link for this moose. Actually, this moose is pretty cool. This was actually given to us by UglyChristmasSweater.com. Yes, you heard that correctly. UglyChristmasSweater.com is a website and they sell not just ugly Christmas sweaters but pretty much any ugly sweater for any occasion. You can even upload your own photos. But what I really like about this is like a 3D thing. You got the moose or reindeer coming out at you. They say moose, I think, on the website. So we'll, we'll, say, we'll say moose for this. It's got little arms, like, hello. And, and then this, see? He's got tiny feet. I shall call you Moosey and you will be mine. There's a lot of ugly Christmas sweater parties happening in the next couple of weeks. So if you want a really cool, unique Christmas sweater, they even have one of Dwight from The Office. Totally awesome. Anyways, go check that link down below as well too. And in the meantime, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you're into vape videos, check out that link. If you're into vlogs, check out that link. I have a podcast, check out that link. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one. <laughs> It attacked me!